hey guys welcome back into this new video tutorial this video is going to be mainly on how to fight virus so in this time around the virus i'm going to fight my friend i can't afford the coronavirus the only virus i can afford for now is the virus for the computer and in fact it affected you okay it is affecting people and it's even affecting my pc can you imagine this is new version of coronavirus which is affecting the pc so i've got the best way how we can actually re get rid of it in our pcs so this is what you are going to do to move that virus over i think you can see it has really affected my pc it has come into uganda and my pc is down and remember this is the piece i actually use to come up with uh, to 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 do most of my stuff so this is what you are going to do to, if possible as the first measures that i'm going to be using to come up with this now i have my good guy from india who was again actually sending me the antidote so this is the antidote that we're going to be using this time around to come up with the complete uh, version on how to fight this virus if possible from our PC. So all of you guys who is there maybe and you already have the, the program and maybe it it's your program to size file 0 MBs or 0 bytes you get. So this is the virus I'm talking about. It eats your operating system. It eats you to 0 byte to breathe no more. And that even the program you have can't work anymore. So this is the time let's think on how to really move this virus from our PC. If you right click on this project or program of mine and try to go on properties, you'll find for sure this is an exe, an exe, I mean, an executable file. But if you look onto the size, my friend is too worse. It's actually zero bytes. So let's see how we can actually turn this on and then we remove that if possible from our PC. Now the first thing that I'm going to be doing, I already have some other codes that I designed, but I'm not going to take you that at the moment because it's long algorithm. I'm just going to pass you straight to the friends work that actually my friends work from India to let you guys know how things can easily be done. But though the next time we shall see how we can do the program algorithm that can fight virus using batch. Now let me just take you straight to the point and then I give you the way forward. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to move uh, all those stuffs of us. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on my PC and I go to, to task manager. Right click on your PC and go to task manager. So when you right click on your PC, go to task manager. For sure, this virus is running and if you try to open it or install any operating, I mean any program right now at the moment, is going to eat it to zero bytes. Now the first thing to do is like look for a file called, let me just open up my notepad here very fast. Open up my notepad plus notepad very fast. I think it's okay. Now open up a file called um, Scene Win. You get something called Scene Win. Now this is the, this is a virus file. This a, it moves with mal malware. You get so it has something called malware in it. So the thing we have to do is look for that file in our PC. You get this is the file. You get this is the file, my friend. Yeah, this is the file that I'm talking about. This is the virus that is actually eating my PC. And now the thing you have to do, you have to take note this side around. If you go to startup of this stuff, you'll discover that this file here is enabled. So the first thing I'm going to do is to disable. So I'm going to click on there and I say disable it. Oop. So I've disabled it from my PC no more running or if possible. And the next thing I'm going to be doing, if you go back on progress still here and you click on that, you are going to find that file here you get so and it's still running remember you disabled it this side but doesn't mean that it's disabled this side it's still running so the first thing i'm going to do is actually right click and open up the file location click there and this is it you see it's found in the c in a boot file you get so i think this is it this boot file and this boot file is under hidden file so you can go to view and then you say uh -huh. hidden items when you click on hidden items you should see boot there and if you du double click there you should find something like that the thing you're going to do there is to, to remove it off remove it off from your pc my friend you see that's a virus running on your pc so at the moment saying no because the file is open in the signals you get it's open so the first thing i'm going to do we already know that location so that's good so we're going to do like this i'm going to just come in here and i say maybe um end task you get i'm going to end task off because it's still moving up and still moving my file so i'm going to just end task see so i've end task that implies no longer running from there now if i go back again here in my pc the thing i'm going to look now at the moment is to right click and then i delete it off i think you can see it's now deleted off now we no longer have it from the boot system anymore but if you really cross check on start and i click on 
here i think you can see it is disabled and it's not there anymore so i'm going to just right click and go to file which will still take us to the same file location which is the same file director which that's why it cannot take us anymore okay because i've disabled it and it's really not there now now i also have some documentation that i actually tried to cross check from my previous my friend's video like i told you guys you know how to move file blah blah from that corrupts exe to, to zero kb this is really serious now the thing the steps that it took here is that finally open up tax manager and under progress damage system uh since since win and then still under this one click setup and there you will find a sys win program with a folder icon which if then the status enabled and actually remove it if possible disable it after that right click the program again and click on open file location and delete the sys the sys win source file if you don't see if you actually if you don't see it, that I mean if don't see it you should open your file explorer for yourself if you guys you didn't see yet what i've done please can you open up the file explorer so that you can actually disable that if possible then under the navigate uh down this blah blah, blah mm -hmm, the, you will see hidden files which i've actually so far shown you guys how uh, you can actually cross check that in your pc the step is very serious now click this pc the explorer blah blah and then you guys will be in position to access it if at all you didn't pass on with my shit if you didn't guys follow my steps then i think this will be the right thing for you now i'm actually at the moment going to the last step which is number five whereby you go to right click the windows piece icon and run you get so i don't want to right click there i'm just going to hold the window button with R. you get if possible and i'm just going to click on that something called the run oh god you get i'm just going to type something called the rigid you get rigid 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 like that and press enter so when you type click rent rigid and press enter and click on here so so we need to remove some of the files you get some of the files here need to be removed off. one of them is that click on this file here class this and select find so click there right click and click find you get so under find type sys sys way you get yes and then click find when you click find it's actually processing that for us it's trying to find out that given file for us that's what i'm thinking of right now at the moment and delete the, the registry so we need to delete everything that's inside that registry so that our file can be safe and then again the next thing is that we also have to click on the edge key current user and select find and i think you guys you can really see how messy this part is so we need to remove all this funny pile oh god you see all of these funny files has to be removed off you get just like the step says you get we have to move all this delete all the registry so we need to do all that possible to have our pc clean up and not mess it anymore so this one i'm going to do i'm just going to do just as it says so this is it all these malfare files i think you guys you can see all these funny files i just going to right click and i said delete my friend because I don't want to have my PC anymore affected. I don't want that. You get? I don't want that. This piece I use it for programming. Someone yesterday sent me a virus from China to my PC. So I don't really like that anymore. So the next thing I'm going to also do again at the moment is to do the same thing. Hold window button with R. And then we, we need to do the same thing. And this time around, what we need to do is actually to move to... to, to click on that and still need to select find you get so uh, I need to say we need to type rigid again if possible uh, need to type rigid if possible with us